Okay, so this is the Sanders classification, and this is a pretty high yield one to know, and it's a little bit difficult, but I can uh, just boil it down to some pretty common sense things for you. Um, so basically, the number is associated with the number of fragments that the posterior facet of the calcaneus has been broken into. For example, um, a two is the posterior facet is in two fragments or two pieces. But in order to do that, you'd have to have one fracture through the posterior facet. A three is the posterior facets in three pieces, so you'd have to have two fractures through the posterior facet, okay? A Sanders one is any number of non-displaced fractures, and a Sanders four is the posterior facet in four or comminuted, okay? So in addition to that, you have to classify it A, B, or C. So uh, one through four is the number of pieces the posterior facets broke into. Then you have to add the A, B, or C. And you can remember this because C, if you can spell sustentaculum tali with a C, that means there is a fracture through the sustentaculum tali. There's a medial fracture. B is central and A is lateral. So if you just remember C for sustentaculum tali, which is medial on the calcaneus, you can then uh, deduce that B would be lateral to that, and A would be most lateral to that, okay? And I have uh, our good old Bernie Sanders here to help you remember that this is the Sanders classification, okay? So there's multiple uh, calcaneal fracture classifications. This is one of the more high yield ones that you need to know.